I mentioned we could put on the planets onto the two-minute star finder. Now the way to do it is to get what's known as the sidereal hour angle. The sidereal angle, hour angle is the placement with the declination of the planets and stars. So the way we can get those is by using the nautical almanac for the present year, the present month, and roughly the present day. So I have already copied down the sidereal hour angle of Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn for September the 20th, 28th this year, 2011. Now where I got that from is right there. See where the underline is in the nautical almanac. Now that's the sidereal hour angle of those bodies. Up near the top, I also got the declination of the bodies where you can see the dots. Can't see them clearly, but I have everything written on the paper. So the next thing to do is to get the star finder out with the star disk on it and place the star disk, Aries, at zero. So if you look on here, you'll see zero, and this is Aries. So the next step then is to find the sidereal hour angle degrees through 360 degrees. The first one being Venus is at 135 with a south 18 declination. Declination is very similar to uh, our latitude on Earth. So if we move this slit line to that position of 135, there it is, 135. And if we go from the equator southward to the deck, we make a mark. The deck in this case is south 18. Here's 10, there's 20, there's 18. So we do that for each one of the planets. The next planet I have on the list is Mars at 322 north 11. Without moving the star disk, we move the transfer arm slot to that bearing or that degrees of 322. And this time it's north of the equator by 11 degrees. So here's the equator, 10, 11, so I've marked down Mars with an M. We can go through and do each one of these planets, and they will be good for roughly one week.